Hello everyone, how's it going? My name is Dan the Tutor. In this video, we're going to be talking about the difference between covalent and ionic bonds. So maybe you've heard this before, maybe you haven't. Covalent bonds are the ones where the electrons are shared. So you have two elements, let's say carbon and fluorine. Instead of transferring the electrons from one to the other, like you give your friend a piece of cake, Covalent bonding is where they share. So like you're sharing the electrons or the piece of cake or whatever. And ionic bonds are not sharing. That's like giving and receiving. And we would say for that one that the electrons are being transferred from one element or compound to another. Now, how do we know based on the equation if it's a covalent or ionic bond? The good news is there's an easy way to tell. Like for instance, if I tell you NaCl, which we know is sodium chloride salt, we can tell instantly if this is ionic or covalent just by looking at the position on the periodic table for those elements. So for instance, here's Na on the left, here's Cl on the right, and in order to have ionic bonds, you gotta have one element on the left and one element on the right. And I will admit, it's not split down the middle because the transition metals is a huge part of the periodic table, but they're all left side. Technically, the split is right along the metalloids. So if you see this yellow section right here, everything here is, I'm going to call the right side of the periodic table, and literally everything else is the left side. And in order to have ionic bonds, you need one element from the left side, one element from the right side, and if it's covalent, then both are gonna be from the right side. You will never have a scenario where it's two elements from the left side. You should never say never in chemistry because there's almost always exceptions to the rule. But I'm gonna tell you today that if you see any questions in class about covalent bonding, they're gonna be with two elements from the right side. So for that reason, I would say NaCl is ionic because sodium's on the left and chlorine's on the right. And so now let's just do a bunch more examples to get the picture. Next one, we have NF3. Well, the numbers don't matter at all. What really matters is the elements. So let's see where nitrogen and fluorine lie on the periodic table. Hopefully you see them. Here's N, here's F. Since they're both on the right side, this is going to be covalent bonding. And it's as simple as that. There's no more math or reasoning required. So for the next couple, go ahead, pause the video, see if you can do them yourself. Get a periodic table. Tell me, is copper sulfide, is it ionic or is it covalent? So pause the video, go ahead and give it a try. And here's the solution. So if I look at copper, copper's right here on the left. Sulfur is on the right. So it is ionic and that's it for that one. Now let's do a few more. Next, ICL iodine chloride. Again, pause the video, tell me what you think. And here's the solution. So here's iodine on the right, here's chlorine also on the right. Looks like it's going to be covalent again, because they're both on the right. Hopefully you're starting to get the hang of this. So now I'm going to do rapid fire. I have three for you. PCl5, Li2O, and SiCl4. Go ahead, pause the video, Tell me what you think of these three, and then I'll explain. Okay, so for PCl5, here's P, here's Cl. They're both on the right. That first one is covalent. Next was lithium oxide. Lithium's on the left, oxygen's on the right. One on the left, one on the right. It's going to be ionic. And then for the last one, it was silicon and chlorine. As you can see, silicon is on the metalloid line, but technically still on the right, and chlorine is also on the right, which means that, again, that's going to be covalent. And just so you know, if I so much have had aluminum, which is on the other side of the line, aluminum chloride would be ionic, but that wasn't the question. So hopefully that makes sense. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments below. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, and bye-bye.